you guys. Today is Friday. And I um, got a call last night from my friend Jerry. Jerry um, goes to our church and has for years and years and years. Um, he's my age almost exactly. And I think he might be just a little bit younger than me. But um, anyway, he back in the day, he was a badass biker uh, Indian gentleman now he's diabetic I'm not sure at what point in his life he became diabetic but um, his health is not that good um, but he still has this extremely tough exterior and he's a big guy and he's one imposing Indian but in any case he has to move and he asked me to um, bring my truck and he had another friend that was going to show up and we were all going to get some of his things into storage because he's kind of in between one place and another he's got to put some stuff in storage so that was the plan so I went over there at the appointed time to his house which is interesting his home um, so I went over there and we hung out and chatted and watched TV and waited for the third person to show up and they didn't. Um, that, and that person I, I also know quite well. He's kind of one of the street people around here, although he's been coming to church sporadically and I think he's, he's really trying to change some things in his life. He's, he's a good little soul, but he's staying, he, that person, is staying in um, like a shelter kind of halfway house right now, and they boot him out at like 6 o'clock in the morning, he has to be out of there, and then he's allowed to come back at night to sleep, so my first thought is, well, he's out on the street and if if I don't go find him he's gonna be drunk by the time he shows up to help with this so I went out to take a look for him and I don't see him so I guess our plan is kind of scrapped for today anyway and which means it's gonna just it's gonna have to wait till after Christmas I think so anyway um Jerry gave me a few things to like take care of for him. And they're very dirty. Um, Jerry's greatest skill is not house cleaning. But in, these are beautiful items. And um, I told him I would take care of them until such time that he can have them back. The first one is a I think it's Tlingit. Um, um, this is so far away for you to see. Uh, it's an Alaskan tribe. Probably either Tlingit or another tribe that I can't think of the name of right now. Darn it, but they make these beautiful carved totems. But at the top we clearly have an owl. So that's really neat. I'm going to clean all these things up. I'm just like my jacket is covered with dust just from carrying them to my car. This looks like it might have been carved out of redwood by someone locally. I'm not sure. But it's got three human heads. Looks like maybe men in various ages. Uh, the one at the top is a headdress. And then at the very bottom, we have death. The grave at the bottom. And that is so heavy. Ugh. I don't know. It, it looks like redwood. I think it's probably redwood. Okay, and finally... We have this arrow quiver, 
which I'm going to show it to you kind of sideways because it's long. And it's got four arrows in it. Which are pretty sharp. So, um, I'm going to hang on to that form as well. Oh my gosh, there's like the dust flying around in the track. precious items. I will keep them safe for as long as necessary and he'll get them back in better shape than he gave them to me. I don't me. see yeah. our friend wandering around the streets. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it does mean that we're not going to get any of Jerry's things into storage today. So, let's make another plan. So, I was going to run in Safeway and get the candy canes and cookies and stuff for Christmas Eve, but I don't want to leave these things in the car. I can't lock my truck because of this door issue, so I think I'm going to take these things home and clean them up. Okay. Well, I just spotted him just as I'm driving out of town with no further way to turn around. Oh my goodness, I think, I think I'll just go home, and if he shows up at Jerry's place and wants to help, Jerry will call me, I'm sure of that, we'll do that, we'll go home, um, and we'll see what happens, it's dark in here, okay, so I just came home, um, I gave Jerry a call, told him to call me if his friend shows up, there we go, that's better. Um, and now I'm just kind of hanging out. I did clean the little totem pole up. I'm going to show it to you. I'll try and get it in some decent light. Um, where's the here? This is kind of decent light. Okay, hold on. There we go. Um, I put my camera sideways so you can kind of see the whole length of it. But yeah, the colors just really popped when I polished it. It looks so much nicer. And um, it does have a wing. It only has one wing, sadly. I don't know what happened to the other wing. But um, yeah, really beautiful little thing. Now i got to clean up the other stuff. Maya, what are you doing there? What are you doing there? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is the new Christmas toy. She's going to get that squeaker out. Where's the squeaker? Where's that squeaker? I don't know why she wants to take the squeaker out. I mean, she loves squeaking it. And then she pulls the squeaker out. I don't understand. So I just stuff it back in there. I stuff it as deep into the thing as I can. But eventually she gets it out. And sooner or later she'll poke a hole in the squeaker with one of her teeth. And it won't squeak anymore. You can actually buy packs of squeakers. I've seen them in pet stores. They come in like a little pack of six or eight of them. So that you can replace the squeakers in your pet's toy when they destroy them. I think it's kind of a cool idea. I don't have any extras though right now. Are you having a good time back there? Are you just having a good old time? Good mama. I having a good old time. <laughs> my dog. Okay, what did I say? There it is. There's the little squeaker. Don't squeak no more. Meow, what are we going to do with you? You killed the squeaker. Now it won't squeak no more.
Her name. You killed the squeaker. Don't. See, it won't squeak now. Oh. And look at your toy. Look at your toy there. Mercy. I'm just now getting a really good look at this one. It's got the four heads on it that I showed you before. But then, if you turn it, it's got Christ and I think there's a cherub holding up the Virgin Mary. Looks like the Virgin of Guadalupe because of these, um, the light coming out in beams like that. Um, yeah. I just thought that was kind of cool. I didn't even realize that there was that extra sculpture on the side. Anyway, Jamie, 1987, we're going to clean up your work. much better you guys kind of proud of myself well you guys once again my video didn't turn out exactly the way I planned it to go but that's okay stuff happens and then other stuff can happen so that's kind of cool <laughs> anyway guys uh, Vlogmas, uh, the official Vlogmas is right around the corner. I may, uh, may have running around like a puppy playing with her new toy. And, um, yeah, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Stay happy, stay healthy, don't forget Granny loves you. And I'll see you in the wink of an eye. Bye. Bye. you guys